Hey everyone, Case here. Welcome back to the Game of Games, the sequel event. Cool as well! The arch rival of Comic Book Guy. This is a very, very strong hint as to the character, premium character, that I'm going to be getting in this first week of this update. They're going to be. Strawberry! That's the wife of Milo, I believe, who owns Coolsville. 3.5% bonus money XP to all jobs. Gluttony rating. Pretty good. 125 donuts. I should really actually place this by... My Malibu Stacy house. Which is way over here. So we'll do that. Hey, it's what's her face? My name's Strawberry. My purse is a lunchbox. Strawberry! It says Malibu Stacy on the front. You want spoilers? This is it. Oh, we've got the characters from that video game that they're copying World of Warcraft. I really liked that episode. I see you, Strawberry. In terms of a sound, though, I think it's just gonna sound like the honking of a horn. Like, beep, beep, get out of my way. So let's go with the honking of the horn for the Malibu Stacy cart. Not what I expected. I didn't think it was going to sound like a clown. Thought it would sound a little bit more like a cart. But it's alright. Ooh! Swap Bay has the bayonet accessory I'm missing from the ultra rare Viet Cong Malibu Stacy prototype. $300 is a lot for a 3 centimeter piece of plastic. But a small price to pay to help Malibu Stacy fight the forces of oppressive colonial capitalism. Uh, babe, you might want to hold off on that. Cruiseful Comics might go bankrupt. What? How? The shop's been in a bit of a slump since everyone buys online now. I ordered too many copies of Ultra New Rebirth Crisis 5 and it bombed. I couldn't help myself. The first four sold so well. Don't worry, babe. If more bodies in the store is what we need, I've got just a plan. Bikini Day! Organize Bikini Day at Coolsville Comics. Suddenly I get the feeling that comic book guy will probably not be an enemy no longer. Although he's actually married though. To Kamiko. Look, I'm happy to show up in a bikini for your promotion, but this guy's blocking the door. I thought the point of this promotion was a discount if one showed up wearing a bikini. Besides, it's a perfect opportunity for me to wear my Space Slave Princess Bikini cosplay. My eyes! Oh, don't be such a baby. Okay, that didn't go so hot. Actually, it decidedly was unhot. But I've started a new business venture I think will be a hit. An online dating service for pop culture aficionados. Wanna give it a shot? Hey, you're paying, right? I'll try whatever you want. This one sounds promising. Robust business owner and racketeer seeks daring fangirl. He's awfully dashing. Is it me? Strawberry run an online dating service. Back to Coolsville? Back to Coolsville. Give me a break. You don't look anything like your profile pic. Please, that photo is obviously Rainy Wolfcastle in the camp sci-fi classic Master of Space. I used to screen out the posers. I'm afraid you don't make the cut. I don't make the cut? How about I cut you? Uh, please remember that our terms and conditions have no clear violence policy. Ugh, none of my business ideas have worked. Cruel Soul Comics is doomed. Did I hear you say you're in the need for a new money-making venture? I have just a thing. 
You can sell these Pyramid Inc. products to family and friends. Guaranteed financial success. Okay, Mr. Snrub. That would be great, but now I don't have any money to get started. Well, if we had something we could put up as collateral, perhaps something rare and collectible. Oh, I know! My Malibu Stacy collection! Does it happen to feature the ultra rare People's Liberation Army Forces of a South Vietnam Malibu Station prototype? Min condition! Excellent. Oh no, Mr. Schnurrub is gonna take all the Malibu Stacy stuff, which of course is Smithers, because Smithers really likes Malibu Stacy. Strawberry Pitch Multi Level Marketing! Maybe she's gonna make so much money. She'll buy all the rare things ever from Malibu Stacy. We got a first animation, pitch multi-level marketing. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, by the way. There's a really, really loud car in front of where I live, so it might pick up on the microphone. But what are we seeing here? Clearly it's like a pyramid scheme, but I'm trying to see if I can read it. No, I, I can't read it. It's about to chicken scratch. We also got some bottles and a shirt. I think it is a turtle on the front of it, or is it an alligator? Once again, I really can't tell. What is this cheap junk? It turned my hair purple. Well, even more purple. I used this on my laundry and I ruined my good sombrero. People, people, it's not about the product, it's about the recruiting of your own salespeople. You mean, like a pyramid scheme? No, no, it's not a pyramid scheme. If you'll just look at this diagram. The one literally in the shape of a pyramid? What? Oh, rats. Hey babe, what's wrong? I was trying to make extra money to help the shop out. I became a Pyramid Inc. saleswoman, but everyone got angry with me because it was just a pyramid scheme. Oh, that's not so bad. But to get started, I had to put up my Malibu Stacy collection as collateral. Now I'm going to lose it all. Oh no, that's terrible. It's okay, I'm just going to go play with them one last time. Wow, you even took banjo playing Mountain Folk Stacy out of her package. Oh no, you ruined it! Play with your collection. I'm guessing that maybe since she opened it up, maybe she won't care so much that it's rare? Play with your Malibu Stacy collection. For the last time. So it looks like they get angry, or she gets angry at the Malibu Stacys. And then one of them apologizes, and they're really sad, and then they make up. Just like real life. Time to pay up. What's that? You don't have the money? No, no I don't. Who knew it would be so hard to get friends and family to buy bulk products that they can have delivered cheaply from the local grocery store as needed? Indeed. Well, time to pay the piper and hand over your collection. Not too fast, my mysteriously mustachioed friend. What are you doing here now? Oh, not much. Just reminding your supposed benefactor that you are in fact protected by the law. What? Come group of guys helping Strawberry and Milo. Oh, loneliness and cheeseburgers are a dangerous mix. How are they protected by the law? Alrighty then. As you can see, I successfully lobbied Mayor Quimby to pass the Springfield Nerd Protection Act. We cannot be pressured nor swindled out of our precious collection by angry mothers, jealous friends, or pyramid schemers. Wow, that's really specific. I'm glad I don't have to give them my collection, but Coolsville is still going out of business unless I do something. 
Now I feel guilty for trying to swindle you out of your Malibu Stacy collection. By the way, it's really me, Smithers. Yeah, we know. Oh, well, how about this? Would you be willing to timeshare your Viet Cong Malibu Stacy with me? For a hefty fee, of course. Wow, that would really bail us out. What do you say, babe? Viva la revolution! Wait, so Smithers is just gonna rent the items? Is that how that works? But regardless, that is it, the full walkthrough for Strawberry. I just want to see if Strawberry has anything with the Malibu Stacy cart. Crawl behind machine for okay tokens, yeah, so you can send them off for that. Pack lunch for a day. Drink and babysit. Coffee meetup. Cruise full comics counter. Read some Malibu Stacy comics. I don't think so. I believe that that card is just a decoration. She does not actually go to it. I wish she would. I really do. But I like both of her animations. I also like the fact that she goes to Coolsville Comics. Because I am a really, really big fan of the animation for that. And we finally get the wife of Milo. But let me know down below what you think of Strawberry. And I'll see you soon with more premium character walkthroughs. And more in the Game of Games, the sequel event in the near future. So thank you very so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye bye everybody.